Hi, my name's Adam. I'm a technician here at Team Cisco, and today we want to talk a little bit about our testing capabilities. Whereas plenty of repair facilities are satisfied with light bulbs and component level testing their power electronics, here at Cisco, we believe it's important to see a device behaving as closely to its intended application as possible. That means when it comes to drive systems, we want to produce motion, and we want to produce load. Now, in today's demo, we're going to be looking specifically at our Siemens Cynamics S120 test fixture. A custom-built cab that houses the system with the goal of creating a bare-bones reproduction of how these may be deployed in the field, thus giving us the freedom to add, remove, swap out components as we see fit to create the testing environment that we want to create. A basic S120 system is comprised of a human-to-machine interface. Since we need to be able to quickly create and implement new project designs, a PC equipped with Siemens proprietary design software starter serves as our HMI. A control unit, the brains of the operation. This is where the project that we create on the PC is stored and commands are interpreted and executed to the rest of the system. An in feed or line module, sometimes called a power supply. This creates and provides the high voltage DC bus for the rest of the system while providing regenerative power back into the line. A motor module, or axis. I have two here, and I'll explain why in just a moment. And finally, a motor. Now, for me, this is where things get fun. You'll notice our motor bank here is configured in such a way that we have pairs of opposing motors. That's because when testing servo drives, we don't have the luxury of using our state-of-the-art AC and DC drive load center due to the various specialized feedback systems that different families of servo drives require. Our solution to that is to configure our servo drive axes so that they work to oppose one another, thus creating load. Using Siemens Starter Program, I've already designed the basic topology and characteristics of the system to be tested. I've designated the first axis, the torque axis, and I've designated the second axis, the speed axis. I'll now command the speed axis to produce 1,000 RPM. And now, I'll command the torque drive to produce about 28 newton meters of torque. This will require the speed drive to produce 18 amps of current, the rated output of the drive, to maintain the commanded speed. Now, from here, I can play with the parameterization and commands as much as I like, but for practicality and expedience, I'll let this run under full load for 10, 15 minutes, after which I can send this drive out feeling confident in my repair. Well, that's it for this demonstration. Thank you so much for walking through it with me. And keep an eye out for more video demos from Team Sesco in the future. Thanks.